What? My whole life, it is a lie. I didn't know this is how some bricks were made. What do you even call it? They're just pulling off the tape and then making faux bricks. I didn't even know bricks could be faux bricks. I didn't even know, I thought bricks were always bricks. Can't believe anything nowadays. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit satisfying to watch as though he like peels it off and it becomes a brick and I'm like, hmm. Did you know baby carrots are actually larger carrots that are imperfect or started to rot? They don't look great anymore and then people are like, oh, if we just take off all the parts that don't look good and roll them together, they become little baby carrots that were once not so nice and gross looking adult carrots. We've been scammed. And I always think that baby carrots taste better. Maybe they're just more convenient because I don't gotta peel them and they're little and it's just like, you're like in one bite. I love them, but now I don't love them as much. Spreading edge, cutting edge. There's different sides to a knife. I've always just used one side. I've used the cutting and the spreading as the same thing. I wanna know how much of a difference this makes. Like, will my spreading game go from a two out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 real quick if I start using the right side? That's what I wanna know. Did you know that peanuts grow in the ground? I always thought they grew on trees or something or in bushes. No, 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 they grow on the ground. On the ground, in the ground? I'm not, mm, I'm not entirely sure. But they grow somewhere near the ground, okay? What happens off camera stays off camera. Damn, okay, so I don't actually know what this is because I don't watch a show, but I think it's one of those like survival shows where it's like, these people gotta live in the wild with no food and no shelter, go! And then they, they're like supposedly living in the wild for like months, but really off camera, they be eating good. Like I'm not eating that good and I'm definitely not living in a forest. I'm living in a house and my fridge empty as hell and these people are eating like kings while we think they're starving in a forest. I don't actually know if that's actually what happened because I don't watch a show but my deductions are great. This one I've heard before but it might shock you guys. Did you know that roughly half of the people wipe standing up and the other half wipe standing down. I didn't even know people wiped standing up until I saw this. I, saw, I think I saw like a few months ago for the first time but I need to share it with you guys because what? Why do people wipe standing up? That just seems like uncomfortable. These food photography tricks prove that your life is a lie. There's cardboard inside of the cake where they put the cream on top. When I buy that cake, there's no cardboard, which means they put it there for the sole purpose of the picture looking impeccable, delicious, delicious. And I mean, we keep buying the cake, so it's working. This is clickbait IRL. This is food clickbait. You see, not just YouTubers do this. Food companies do this. News companies do this. Book companies do this. I'm pretty sure everybody in the world does it. Do you remember that song, My Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard by Khalees? Well, she's never had a milkshake in her life. She made this famous song about milkshakes and she's never had one herself. The song should have gone something like this. My milkshake never brought any boys to the yard because I've never had a milkshake. Okay, her version's a lot more catchy, so I kind of see why she didn't go with my version. So no hate, Khalees, okay, no hate. You can keep your song because it sounds better. <laughs> do you know penguins actually do have knees? So you know when you're pretending to be a penguin and you're like not bending your knees because you think they don't have knees, they got knees. They're just so high up on their body that we don't see them. You can see it here in the skeleton x-ray. Like they got knees. Do you know oranges can either be green or orange? Because I've only ever seen an orange orange and the reason behind that is because they treat it with a chemical. They treat it with ethylene gas so that it turns orange even if it was green. I feel like I'd rather eat a natural green orange than eat an orange orange that's full of chemicals. I mean as long as it tastes the same I don't care what it looks like. Okay I kind of care what it looks like. I just don't want it to look rotting. But if it's green, I'm okay with that. Did you know that the bubbles in coffee commercials are created by adding soap? I love bubbles on coffee. Like, I love that foamy, like frothy texture, just like, it's so exciting. But now that I know it's made out of bubbles, like soap bubbles, I'm just like, ugh. It makes it a lot less appetizing. I'll never look at a coffee commercial the same ever again. Beautiful water splash, more like perfectly molded plastic for that perfect, photo. I'm not even mad at this. I'm just impressed that somebody was able to make plastic 
look that cool. And now that I know it's plastic, when I look at it, like I can kind of tell. I'm like, yep, that's plastic. Sometimes when you know the truth, you can see it. This is what a two liter bottle looks like before it's made into a two liter bottle. You guys are like, what? That looks tiny. Yeah, that's because they use a machine and they blow it up and then it becomes a big two liter bottle. Bo bo water. Water bottle. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't speak. Did you know that that tiny little dot on top of the eye in the Pringles logo is actually a teeny tiny Pringle? I didn't. Honestly, my life is a little bit better now. I love it so much. Did you know in the old Mario games that the clouds and the bushes are the same thing? Nintendo be cheap as hell. I take that back. No, no, no hate, no hate. I love Nintendo, but like they just copy and pasted the bush and the cloud and we're just like, if we change the color, nobody will notice. The internet always notices. Do you ever wonder why sometimes your name neighbor's grass is so green and then yours just looks like it's dead and you're like but it hasn't been raining they haven't even been watering their grass why is their grass so green that's because some people paint their grass yep there is grass paint i don't know if this is good for your grass i can assume it's not it's probably not good for your soil probably once you paint your grass once you have to keep painting it because it's gonna be even more dead also like what if you wanted to lay down on the grass or have a picnic with the paint rub off on you? I don't know, I got so many questions. I've never painted grass. I've also never cut grass, cause <laughs> I'm lazy. Did you know a barcode scanner actually reads the white lines in between the black lines, not the black lines? This is groundbreaking. I never knew this. My life is different. This European supermarket was selling this shoe freshener shoe freshener for three euros okay but somebody took the wrapper up and they found out that they just put a wrapper on top of even cheaper woman's deodorant which was like under one euro and they would just like repackaged it and was like eh nobody will notice well guess what sometimes people take off the wrappers and then you get exposed. Did you know that most bowling balls are actually made out of older bowling balls that have gotten smaller after use and they just resurface them and make a new bowling ball. This one used to belong to a girl named Sarah. Sarah, I found your old bowling ball. Honestly, I kind of like this because like why make something brand new and waste a ton of material when you can recycle something old? I'm all for this. Sometimes I even do this with dice. Look. It's an old dice that became a new dice. You know how sometimes you find really cheap products on Amazon or eBay and you're like, why is this so cheap? Like this iPad case, it's $5. You're like, that is cheap. But the reason it's cheap because they made it out of old recycled toothpaste cardboard. They're like, could I use my old toothpaste to make an iPad and sell it to somebody on eBay for $5? Not bad. Did you know that big batteries are actually a bunch of small batteries put together? I actually had no idea until I saw this my whole life. It has been a lie. What do you even need a battery this big for anyways? I have no idea. That lovely bowl of cereal that makes you say delicious on TV. It's usually just a bunch of glue. <laughs> I mean, the cereal is legit, but then they put it into glue because if they put it into regular milk, if the cereal would A, it would like sink down to the bottom. They couldn't get it perfectly placed and then it would get really soggy. So, I mean, I kind of appreciate the creativity, not gonna lie but also don't want a bowl of cereal anymore. Apparently, Winnie the Pooh is not a boy. She is a girl. What? I, I find this one hard to believe. I've always thought Winnie the Pooh was a boy when I watched it as a kid. I mean, I'm cool with it either way. I'm just really confused. This whole video made me say, my life is a lie. All the things I've believed in are not the case, but it's okay. I kind of like knowing these things. It makes me feel like a little bit more wise, you know? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you also feel a little bit more wise. I love you guys all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice, other. Bye-bye.